Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 219. That is how to update the column data in SQL tables. Let me answer. So you may be thinking that it is a software testing interview question series, but uh, why I am covering a question which is related to SQL. The thing is in software testing interviews, okay, you will not only get the questions specifically from software testing, but also you'll be getting the questions from SQL, okay? If you want to be good at SQL, refer my other course, guys, okay, where I have explained SQL from scratch for beginners, okay, in a detailed manner, okay? So once you complete that course, right, these answers will be very easy for you. Anyhow, let me answer this question for you, that is how to update the column data in SQL tables, okay? So in SQL, if you want to update the column data of the tables, okay, then you have to use this particular statement, SQL statement, that is update, name of the table, and you have to use a keyword known as set keyword and uh, column, whatever the value you want to update with, okay? You can update mul multiple columns at the same time, and uh, you can put a condition here, okay, where for this particular condition only, you just update the column values, okay? of the table like that, okay? Let me practically demonstrate so that it will be more easy for you. So here guys, uh, I'll first uh, show you what are the records that are there in this EMP1 table. EMP1 is a table here. So here we have two records. One is ID and uh, name Arun is there and uh, two is ID and name Varun is there. So what I want to do is uh, here, here I want to update the name that is Varun to Tarun, okay? Different name I want to update, okay? At this moment, it is Varun. I want to update this Varun to Tarun, okay? So how to do that? So simply the keyword is update. Okay, first you have to type update, followed by the name of the table. EMP1 is the name of the table, okay? In this table, what I want to update, for that to update, guys, we have to use a uh, keyword known as set keyword, okay? Whatever that you want to update, before updating, you have to put a keyword known as set, okay? Set followed by column name. So here, this Varun is under the column name known as name. So I'll say name is equal to, name is equal to, what is the name that you want to update? Uh, I want to change Varun to Tarun. So here I'll give Tarun, okay? Here I'll give, one minute, Tarun, okay, done. Only one column I'm updating here, that's okay. But uh, if I simply run this query, what will happen? All these names will be updated here. Arun also will get updated to Tarun and Varun also will get updated to Tarun. That's why I want to put a condition here, only for this uh, column, uh, only for the second row where Varun is there, update that to Tarun. That means based on the ID, okay, I can create a condition. If the ID is two, I want to update the name from Varun to Tarun, okay? So what I will do here is I'll say where, where ID, name of the column is ID is equal to, this is the condition, guys, okay? For this condition only, you update the name to Tarun. That means Varun will only get updated to Tarun. Arun will stay like that only, okay? So this is the statement you have to write. Update, table name, set, column name, the new value of, that you want to update for this particular column uh, and the condition, where condition, okay? Let's run this query. After I run the query, the query has run properly. Now again, I'll retrieve the records from this EMP1 table. Observe that Varun got updated to Tarun. Okay, Arun is still Arun only, but uh, for the ID to the name that is Varun was there, got updated to Tarun, okay? So this how guys, we can update the column data in SQL tables. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.